by now you might have read multiple news stories which says we might go into stagflation. CNN reports the unemployment could rise in US amid looming stagflation. Investors bet against the pound over dire threat of stagflation. Fortune reports top economist Mohammed says that market rally isn't a buy signal as stagflation looms. But what does stagflation even mean? Stagflation can be described as stagnation in economy and high inflation. As you might have seen last week as CPI data was released, inflation was reported at 8.6% in May, which was highest since 1981. Energy prices were up by almost 35%, fuel prices were up 106% and food prices were up by 10% in the last one year. And in addition to this, major companies, especially tech firms, are announcing layoffs. Tesla reported last week that they are planning to lay off 10% of their staff. Coinbase, a crypto trading platform, announced last week that they are extending its hiring freeze indefinitely. And even Uber and Lyft announced their hiring freeze and also planning for major budget cuts. So if this overall situation of slow economic growth, high unemployment, low consumer demand and high inflation continues for multiple months, then it's called stagflation. And Chris Brightman, who is the chief investment officer at Research Affiliate says that there are greater than 1 in 3 chances of stagflation. Drop a like on this video and follow for more.